charged with trying to increase voter participation in New York City. Uh, and with that, we have added a few other things that I'll tell you about. But, so this started, uh, probably I've been doing this for about 10 years now. And as you heard, I was doing it first under the Voter Assistance Commission and now with the New York City Campaign Finance Board. <clears throat> but what we do under the umbrella of NYC Votes is that we have, um, we have a small team with large hearts and we go and we train residents throughout the city on how to conduct voter registration drives. Uh, not only do we do that, but we also host trainings in our facilities. So we are located at 100 Church uh, in Lower Manhattan, and we conduct trainings there as well. Uh, during the summertime, we usually gather interns and we create a street team of, source, of sorts that we can then deploy to different parts of the city. Still, it's a big city. So because of that, we try to do a lot of training. So if you are part of a community-based organization and you'd like to see uh, members of your team or in your community who could use uh, voter registration training, we would be happy to provide that for you. Of course, with that, comes along understanding the voter registration form, and those are some of the things that are you know, equally important, understanding your rights. So as part of that, we want to make sure everyone understands, can, are they eligible to vote? And what does that mean? If they've registered before, are they on the rolls? If you show up to vote and your name is not on the rolls, what do you do? What do you tell people? These are some of the pieces of the training that we do. And what I've also done and I've left up front is I brought our brochure, which is a guide to registering uh, and voting in New York City. So this covers a lot of the different rules. So there's one for everyone up front and enough for you to take back as well. So it will cover everything from if, you, if folks are formerly incarcerated, if somebody has just moved into town, or they've moved across town, you know, these types of questions are all inside here as well. Um, so with voter registration, there are a couple of things in our portfolio that we do, some very large projects as well. So we started a program called Student Voter Registration Day. I don't know if anyone has ever heard of Student Voter Registration Day, but that's something that is managed out of our offices. And as part of Student Voter Registration Day, we, this is our second year of doing it. We do it with the New York City Council. And what we do is the first year we went into about 16 or 17 high schools. And this year we were in over close to 70 high schools. What was so wonderful about it is that we did receive some funding from the city council to provide this effort. So what we did was we went into 51 districts and working with the city council members, we chose a public high school in their district. And then we partnered with, not only partnered, but provided a stipend to a local community-based organization who would help us on the ground in the schools. So they went, they came to us, they received the training of not only how to register someone, but how to provide uh, and facilitate the curriculum. So we created curriculum around it as well. And then they went into the schools and they taught that curriculum to those students who were eligible. So mostly the senior class, but in certain instances, the junior class as well. And so happy to report that on that single day, we registered 8,500 students. So it was an, a wonderful effort for a lot of people to be proud of. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we are really hoping, and I believe that the city council is all ramped up to go again next year, but uh, to see how we can continue to expand that program. Still, we're just talking about 70 schools. We need to be in 
every high school with that message and how do you grow that way but also how do you really support those students so it's important that we have relationships with community-based organizations and make sure that they know about the programming so that when the request for proposals or information go out that they can respond and be part of that group as well but that's one of the things that we do I mean you, you've heard the abysmal voting record in New York City we know that you know there are times where we're 46 in voter participation in the country so, you know, it's not a place where New Yorkers are comfortable. We know that New York is always number one. We want to be number one. We're always at the forefront of everything. But the bottom line is when it comes down to our voting, we just don't show up. And there's lots of reasons why we don't show up, but none of them are really good enough, right? but not to make us the victims because really we are dealing with an antiquated system and we're dealing with a broken system and in order to fix that there are some things that we can do and that we should do and that we should hold our elected officials accountable for so we started something called voter day and it's an advocacy program and with this advocacy, we realize that where, every, where everything happens is upstate in Albany. So our legislators who work in Albany, they govern these state ele these elections. So it's important that we have laws there that work for uh, New Yorkers. So things like early voting, things like automatic registration, things like pre-registration of 16 and 17 year olds, same day registration, electronic voter registration. We live in a smartphone world, yet everything we do is paper-based when it comes to elections. These things must be changed, and we have amazing elected officials who have written great legislation, but it's not going anywhere, right? It's absolutely not going anywhere between the assembly, between the Senate, who's sponsoring, who's not sponsoring. That's not our issue. Our issue is that we've sent them to Albany to do our work. And because of that, we started Voter Day and we take members of the public to Albany to speak with their le to all of the legislators, not just their own, to all of the legislators talking about what we want out of the electoral process and how it can be easier for us and an easier point of entry for future generations. So Voter Day is another piece that I would love to see more people participate in. We, this, we went on May 3rd, we took four bus loads. We had nearly 200 people, over 70 meetings. So we are starting to make an impact. But for it to truly work, we need all hands on deck and we need our legislators sponsoring these bills. Um, so, as you heard, I do also do a program called the Youth Poet Laureate Program. So part of what we do is we look at the vast community and we try to come up with programming that speaks to different types of community groups. In this case, it's a youth program, it's a voter-themed spoken word competition, and the young person who wins the title becomes the Youth Poet Laureate for the City of New York, and they travel the five boroughs performing their winning poems and speaking to their peers about the importance of uh, voter registration and voting. So there's a lot to talk about, but I'll just stop there for now, and I look forward to have, continuing the conversation. Thank you. We thank you for all the work that you are doing.
across New York. And uh, come to Queens. Come to Southeast Queens. Do it. <laughs> okay. So next on our uh, next on our uh, on our uh, the next presenter tonight, excuse me, would be uh, Stephen Rob Rob Malski, who will be showing us a PowerPoint presentation. 